How about that one? Stanford held off USC last night in triple overtime to keep their perfect season alive. Andrew Luck threw for over 300 yards and three touchdowns as the Cardinal had to come from behind for the first time this year. With the win, Stanford moves up to fourth in the latest BCS standings. Number one, LSU versus number two, Alabama, next week right here on CBS 5. In college, we all seem to have that one classmate or teammate that just wouldn't stop singing no matter where they were. Luckily for the Stanford football team, Terrence Stevens has a phenomenal voice. Real fumble! Cardinals win it! The win streak continues! The Cardinal has a national best 16-game win streak, partly because of their stifling defense. Terrence Stevens, the nose tackle, comes in. And one of their linemen has another talent off the field. Where were you when everyone was falling apart? It's always been a passion of mine, always will be, and as long as I have the opportunity and the gift, I think it's worth uh, sharing it. Terrence Stevens has been singing his lungs out since he was in middle school. My mom actually was at a wrestling meet when I sung the national anthem, and she started to cry, and I could see her because she was so close. Um, and I said, well, wow, maybe I actually can sing. Lost and insecure. The 6'2", 294-pounder tried out for American Idol at the age of 16. Although he was eliminated, he learned a valuable lesson from the experience. It taught me actually to never quit. I had aspirations to be the next American Idol, but it didn't work out that way. But there's been so much more exposure and, and, and many opportunities to uh, ultimately do what I love doing, and, and that's playing football and singing. Neverland. Steven seems to always have a tune stuck in his head. Never came to the corner first and not my start. All the time, <laughs> all the time. And a lot, a lot of my, a lot of my uh, teammates just kind of nudge me, like, can you shut up? And <laughs> some people like it, some people don't. I really don't care. <laughs> in addition to playing for a national championship, Stevens has one other goal for this season that he hopes will resonate throughout the walls of Stanford Stadium. It's something I'm going to talk to with my coach about. I think I'm actually, if he allows me, uh, sing the national anthem at one of the home games, maybe the Oregon game or the Notre Dame game. We'll so play. I'm, uh, it, it'll be a big stage, but we'll see. Where were you? Where were you? Just a little late. You found me. You found me. Indeed, Stanford is singing a pretty good tune right about now. Great stuff. We have this week's They Said It Award to give away next on Game Day. Where I come from, that is, a, those are fighting words. The 49ers' latest knockout blow came against Cleveland. I didn't think I'd be standing here six and one. The Raiders were off, but Hugh Jackson was not. He's our special guest tonight. I don't always agree with it all, but that's okay. And the chase is on. Tony Stewart puts the heat on the NASCAR points leader, and Stanford makes a move in the BCS, and it's music to their ears. Just a little late, you found me. You found me. This is Bank of the West game day on CBS 5.